back hey butterflies welcome back it's your girl allegra margella if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in but it's day two of my 12 days of vlogmas and you know so far so good we're here i'm trying to be consistent i can do this i got this <laughs> that's what i gotta keep telling myself so i'm currently on my way to walmart i was gonna go to joanne but I just didn't feel like driving to that area and Walmart has multiple things that I need right now. So I really just need some new needles because I'm gonna start sewing today. I need a zipper because I'm gonna change that sweater from my last vlog to the half zip sweater that I was referencing. Then I have this little white elephant gift exchange thing going on at work. And I wanted to sew someone like faux fur pillows because I thought that would be cute or like at least one big faux fur pillow because I'm doing like a little self care type of gift where you're like relaxing with your pillow you got some wine I was gonna do a blanket but I don't know I just didn't feel like doing a blanket anymore so I need stuffing for the pillows I need to get some new needles I need to get a zipper and I also need to get some nails because I need to do my nails like my nails have been looking busted for two days too long so I'm gonna see if I can find some cute new press-ons and I'm gonna get some gel polish to put on them so that it lasts so that's what we're doing on the way to Walmart and I will see you guys when I get there Walmart fabric always looks really cheap, I'm not gonna lie. Like it always gives like a costume vibe, like like what the fuck? Okay, okay, I can't lie though. This zebra chiffon could be a thing. Oh, it's tiger chiffon. Excuse me. It could be a thing. Um, I don't see anything I would like though. Not over here not that cute got some this is really nice though this material and everything I really like that now I need to get some sewing notions I think the household is like the best Some more pins. Oh, this one. Straight pins that come with a pin cushion. No, I don't need those kind. I need dressmaker pins. There's a lot of these for my dress form I need. And Walmart has it all for like way cheaper than Joanne. Oh my gosh, I've been sleep. I think I need some more of these. Anything else? I don't think I need anything else. I need some bobbins. Yes. Oh, they have pre. Well, I don't need Hello White. So I'll just get these instead. So I got these, these, this, this, this. Hi, Delilah. What you doing? Just chilling. Just, just chilling by the, the very bare 
just light simplistic <laughs> Christmas tree with a butterfly on top nice so guys I did not go to the store to get salmon because I'm just gonna make my plant-based burger that I have in the fridge because I have like my lettuce tomato bun and all that stuff so I'm just gonna you know get comfortable get into sewing mode and then I'll cook and all that later so let's get to it right now so I'm just gonna work on my white elephant gift um, and part of the gift is a big fluffy fur pillow this is the fabric I got it was a remnant from Joanne y'all it is so freaking soft sewing supplies for me <laughs> so when it comes to making a pillow it's mo it's really simple because it's literally the shape of the pillow that you want sewing around the perimeter leaving room open stuffing it and then slip stitching it closed that's like the most simple thing you could ever make um, I don't know if it's even I mean I don't know if there's technical ways to make a pillow but I've made several pillows before and it's always simple. You can even add a zipper if you want it to zip up. If you have a pillow in it that, you know, can be removed and you want to just wash the outside of it. But I'm going to stuff this one. Um, they could always hand wash this or they could just wash it on delicate in their washing machine and just let it air dry. It could possibly still tumble in the dryer a little bit too. So I'm going to leave the opening like up here at the top because this part look I just look like that. We don't even have to worry about sewing that because it's already connected. You can always just cut it in half and make a seam there if you want to but I just feel like that's kind of unnecessary at this point in my opinion. So we're just going to sew all the way around. I want to leave a lot of room because I do have to flip it inside out and stuff it so I think this is good enough this is about two three four seven and a half inches wide so this is like seven and a half inches wide more than enough room to like slip through so now I'm gonna just should I surge or so I think I'm gonna surge just because I don't feel like changing my thread and my serger thread is already black so I'm just gonna surge all the way around well not there. I'm going to search. I'm going to search here, here, here to there. So let's get to it. Inside out. So this is how it's looking. It's a nice shape. So we're gonna get our stuffing and get the stuffing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh lot in there so we're gonna take a little by little because really gotta push that in there it's like a stuffed animal It's getting fluffy, but you really want to make sure you spread it out so that it's not like lopsided, you know? Nobody wants a lopsided pillow. I have a ton of this stuffing left, so we're just going to keep filling her up. As much as we can.
<clears throat> so now for this part this is when you're going to we're going to do some slip stitching so we're going to fold our raw edges inwards towards each other and just to hold everything in place I'm going to pin it before I slip stitch till everything stays the way I need it to stay. And because it's fur, you can actually always top stitch because it'll, I mean, the fur will cover up the top stitch. But I want to see if I don't get frustrated <laughs> slip stitching before I just go into top stitching. So, so I'm going to get my hand needles. And these are the needles I just got from Walmart today. They're like household needles, different sizes. And we're probably going to get this one. I don't know if you guys can see. I can't wait to do my nails, guys. I know they look a mess. But this one right there. How fluffy she looks like it looks good like really good and this is how much polyfill I have left out of that bag so it took a good bit of it I, could, I still could have stuffed it more but I didn't want it to look lopsided so I just left it so let me go ahead and get my thread probably gonna use black but since this is like a dark colored you know area slip stitching it's pretty much like making the fabric kiss so I take the thread and I'm going to go through one side and we're inside of this of this seam and then you're going to make it just grip a little bit from the other side and it's going to kind of like seal, pull them together from the other side pull through and make sure it's not open it's not so I'm gonna do a, t I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna tie. About three times. And love, and this is what I'm doing with this, just because it's fur. There's another way to close it when you don't have fur and it's like a piece of clothing, but because it's fur and you're really not gonna see this knot, this is what I'm doing. And then we're going to snip it as close as possible but without opening it back up. And then, voila, you have a closed pillow. So this is how the pillow turned out. Like, it's a pretty nice size. As you can see, it's nice and soft. Um, I can't wait to add it to my little self-care basket I'm making for my white elephant gift at work. I think this is going to be something that I personally would like to have, like, you know, especially because these days throw pillows are like 20 bucks for one pillow. So to have one, you know, for the free, <laughs> good quality, custom made, one of what, this is a really good gift. And I really should just give this and nothing else, but nobody wants just a pillow. And I wouldn't want just a pillow, but just thinking of the amount and quality and custom made and just rareness of this it's worth more than whatever $15 gift somebody's gonna get from the store in my opinion but it's not about that it's about the giving it's about the thoughts it's about the good vibes of Christmas so whoever ends up with this is gonna be very happy I can already tell you that so this is part one of my basket I think I'm gonna get a bottle of wine um Maybe a sleeping mask. I probably actually make a sleeping mask. Possibly. Or I may just buy one. But we'll see. So this is a nice homemade pillow. And yeah, this was a quick little tutorial in the vlog. So now I'm about to eat. I'm about to make my plant-based burger. And then do my nails and pretty much call it a night. And I have fur particles floating everywhere from when I cut. But yeah, let's go eat, y'all. Let's let's get this stomach <laughs> in a good mood. <laughs>
love for you every time I try to resist Taking it away, I'm just bitch feels in an every day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Staring next to you Look at this deliciousness The Krabby Patty has nothing on this like Mmm one thing I have mastered, comfort food is something I have mastered, like pasta, burgers, um, fried chicken. <laughs> so I'm about to eat, y'all. Uh, next time you see me, I'll probably be doing my nails or like putting on a face mask. Just pretty much winding down, ending the day, getting myself together. So, see you then. This burger is bomb. TheBomb.com <laughs> So as I can see I'm face steaming before I do my face mask This also helps if you're congested and you don't want to be like congested anymore like steaming your face But putting like a towel over it like really helps So this is the mask I'm gonna be using I got this another vlog you guys saw this is expensive as i don't know what but i feel like it's worth it so and it gives you a pretty good amount so we're about to use this bad boy i'm kind of sad that i lost the stick because now i have to put it all on my hands and that's fine right i'm actually using my little gouache tool it's broken but it's getting some use so i'm just dipping it in rubbing it on my face and it's giving me a pretty nice